Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well today. I'm gonna be reviewing and doing a two-day wear test on the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. This should be interesting because for reference, my skin is dry, sensitive, dry patches, and all the things. So if that sounds like your skin, then stick around. If you are new here, welcome. We chat beauty and hair on this channel, reviews, comparisons, tutorials, and all that good stuff. So if that sounds like fun to you, make sure to subscribe because I am here every week. Elf Camo Powder Foundation is primer infused. It is medium to full, buildable coverage with a semi matte airbrush look. It blurs out imperfections as it evens out the skin. It is light as air, non cakey, crease resistant, and is talc free and non comedogenic. This is geared for all skin types, so we're gonna put it to the test today on my dry skin. The website says that this goes well with the rest of the camo line, so I'm gonna use the matte concealer. This is the shade Light Peach. I'm gonna set it with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent just underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna use a sponge that comes with it. That's what the website recommends. Okay, so this is not my shade. So we're gonna have to warm it up with some bronzer. This sponge situation is not really working well. What is that? This is an absolute mess. Aside from the color, which is completely off, the coverage is impressive for a powder foundation. I'm gonna try the other side with this multitasking brush from Real Techniques. I am getting a more even application, so I'm using the brush to smooth out the sponge side a little bit. So I don't think this is meshing well with my SPF. I think that, ha that has to be it because it is completely caked up on my nose area. As you build this up, it can get cakey. You know, coverage is good aside from the clinging to the dry patches. Okay, so all I did was my face makeup because I have to go take my daughter to school, but it is already looking a lot better than upon first application. It seems to be settling into the skin. It is really, really good coverage. It does not feel heavy at all. I am gonna be setting this with my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. It is now 7 26 a.m i'm gonna check back in later just got in the car let's see how this is looking oh, okay um it did settle into my smile lines so it did take away a little bit on the cheek area but most of the coverage is still intact it's 9 50 a.m i just came back have breakfast and i do not like the way that it is looking i did not even finish the rest of my makeup it just doesn't look good right now so i'm gonna wash it off still the same day i'm going to skip spf although i do not recommend just for the purpose of this video i'm gonna do that see if that was the issue because it's just looking like a cakey hot mess i am too invested in this foundation right now so my moisturizer has been sitting a little bit over half an hour i did check to see if i could pick up a darker shade locally they're all out and i know i normally don't recommend brushes but for this particular foundation building it up slowly is best i found that it looked patchy when i applied it with the sponge you guys it's not looking great i'm trying to understand the hype of this product let's try and look past my ghostly white complexion right now you can see all of the pores it's kind of accentuating the texture on my skin it's also settling into my forehead lines i feel like i look probably 10 years older with this overall it does look better than when i used sunscreen but that leaves me without any protection the coverage is great but there's a lot of settling going on i'm gonna set this with the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist i figured it would go well since i'm using elf but it is now 11 45 a.m i'll check back in later back at 7 45 p.m my face is itching so bad and i am getting a breakout on my cheek area it's one of those where it's underneath the skin and you can tell it's large and it hurts when you touch it like a cystic my skin clearly doesn't like it it does irk me that it's supposed to be non-cakey and it is definitely cakey if you build it up to full coverage settled into my fine lines was moving around all day i purposely did not fix the flaws so that you could see what it was looking like at the end of the day without me checking into a mirror there were patches where the foundation I guess lifted off when I had an itch on my face if you're not checking it consistently it's just all over the place so good morning guys it is day two of trying the elf camo powder foundation I have to say I almost didn't try it for the second day because it just went <laughs> so badly in the first day but i did my skincare about 45 minutes ago and i did use my daily sunscreen which is the elta md tinted sunscreen this one does not leave any type of sticky residue like the previous one that i had used even out the skin a little bit but it's very very sheer and we all know that the elf camo powder foundation does give really good coverage and again i'm using a brush just like that first application my issue with this is that i feel like i look aged i didn't even know i had that many lines <laughs> 
to be honest with you. So here's the foundation all done. It's a lot better than the first day. And I also see that it's picking up on my dry patches in the center of my face. And it worked on top of my daily SPF, even though it was tinted. So that's a good thing. I don't think it works with every SPF. You got to keep that in mind because some SPFs can be very grippy and very sticky. FYI, I can't find my tweezers, so be nice in the comments, but I went ahead and applied a little more foundation around the cheek area with the puff that I used underneath my eyes. It's very soft and it did do better around the pore area, but I still don't love the way they look. I can still see them more with this foundation than other foundations that I've tried. I am gonna go ahead and set this with the e.l.f. Stay All Night Setting Spray. Jeez. I really don't like how that forehead looks. All right, it's 6.55 a.m. Let's see how this does throughout the day. I can tell you right now, it does feel a lot more set than it did that first time I tried it. So hopefully it does well. 4.25 p.m., a little later than what I wanted, but I did take some footage earlier. And I mean, you guys can be the judge. It was moving around a lot. It gathered in awkward places. I did wear my mask. Of course, as I was out and about, it just removes a little bit too much as you're trying to smooth out those creases. It's not exactly very long wearing, not very reliable in terms of staying put. So even though I love e.l.f., I haven't found their camo line to be very good for dry skin, although I can't speak for other skin types, which is why I would love for you guys to chime in in the comments if you've tried this powder foundation and your skin type. I wanna open up a conversation because this has a lot of hype around it, so I truly wanna understand how you guys use it if you've tried it. So those are my thoughts on the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you being here. If you found this video helpful, make sure to share it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!